When you hear five, four, three, two, one, what phrase immediately comes to mind? If you said liftoff, you are not alone. Counting down to an epic moment has seeped into pop culture since Alan Shepard took his short hop just beyond the boundaries of space. When those last few seconds ticked away before launch, it's dramatic, powerful, even cinematic, which makes sense, as the rocket launch countdown clock wasn't invented by fussy engineers, but envisioned by a great German filmmaker, Fritz Lang. In 1929, he released a silent science fiction film, Women in the Moon, where the protagonist believed there was gold on the dark side of the moon, so he needed a rocket to get there and test his theory. Long was a stickler to diligent research, so he turned to one of the founding fathers of rocket science, Ermin Obert, to be a scientific advisor on the film. Together, they combined their scientific and creative energies to envision what the future of rocketry to the moon looked like, which ended up looking scary accurate. The rocket ship was built in a tall building and moved to the launch pad, later also done to build the Apollo rocket. The crew were laid on their back in order to cope with the G-forces experienced during a launch. In an attempt to increase the drama leading up to the launch, Long used an on-screen countdown to build up the suspense the crew was experiencing prior to liftoff. The rocket launched from a pool of water, similar to how one day water would also be used to dampen sound waves in order to protect the pad. Upon liftoff, it was the first time the world saw the idea of a two-stage rocket. And finally, straps were used in the film so that the crew would be able to maneuver in zero-g, even though in the film, there was almost always gravity. I never said their science was perfect. The publicity of the film helped gain funding for a German rocket amateur enthusiast group, the Society for Space Travel, to build more robust rockets. This also gained the attention of the German military, who offered the group's most promising member, a young Vona von Braun, a contract to work on ballistic missiles. Von Braun also happened to be a pupil of Olbert in his early years. From 1933 to 1945, the film was banned in Germany, and its rocket models were destroyed because the German government thought the rocket in the film had too many similarities to their top secret V-2 rocket program. After the war, Werner von Braun was brought to America, along with his concepts of spaceflight, which were heavily influenced from the film, to help develop the engineering and research that would one day take us to the moon. The rest, as they say, is history. I hope you enjoyed the video and please subscribe to my channel. I'm doing a sticker giveaway for the upcoming Apollo 11 uh, 49th anniversary. If you want the sticker, just leave in the comment section below what you learned from this video, like the video, and subscribe to my channel. I'll let you know if you won and I'll mail you some stickers. All right, bye.